Um, so first of all, um, you've not, you know, you say that you had enough support when you were on the show, but what was life like for you when the show ended? So yeah, for me, you know, when you come off of it, it's a huge transition. Um, and for me, at first, it was amazing. You know, I was having a great time. But I didn't have much guidance and things like that. Um, and then for me, uh, when things started slowing down, um, I didn't have the right agent and things like that. Um, so it became very difficult, you know. And I did kind of get to a point where I, I felt like I was in a dark room and I had no one around me. Um, and I did, you know, it, it, things got really bad for me. And it, it took me to go to rock bottom to then kind of work my way back up um, and, and get get some help um, and talk to some people and uh, yeah so that, that was what happened with me. Um, you talked about it being difficult, in, in what ways were things difficult? For, for me it was kind of false promises and, and things like that so you know I'd be doing one thing and then I'd get told another thing and then so you continuously feel like you're being passed around sort of thing. Um, so there weren't actually a set, you know, guide. There weren't a set way to go with it. You know, there's so many different turns. And for me, I was quite young, you know, and it was quite confusing and it was quite hard. Um, but the the kind of it's, it's really hard to exp it's it's hard to explain. Um, I suppose you've you, you've come off a show um, where you're in people's living rooms. Um, yeah. You know, for eight weeks, well, yeah, this is it, two yeah. months, um, you come off a show having, I guess, been in the spotlight for two months, and mm. the show ends, and you're told goodbye, thanks very much. Yeah, you well, know, what, what, you're kind what of happens? sold a little bit of a dream because I think, you know, when you you think when you go on there, you come off and you think you're set for life, you know, and the truth of the matter is, you know, you're not set for life, um, and. Like I've said, if you don't have the right guidance and things like that, it, it's just a hard industry to be in, you know. And that's, I, I mean, the show obviously, you know, you get treated so well when you're on there and everything else. But as soon as you come off of it, you you, you don't kind of have the help, you know. And that that is the truth. You don't have. Um, they do say like, oh, you could give us a call or things like that. But you know, truth be told, you're kind of in and you're out, you know. And, and we're on to the next one, and you know, which is fine. But you don't know that at the time, you know. So, from a person that's been in them shoes, it, it's hard to deal with, you know. Going from kind of, kind of being really busy, you know, loads of things happening, to then things quieting down, you know. Which, now looking at it, you know, that that's what happens. But in at the time, you know, it's horrible. You know, it makes you question yourself. You know, I, was, I questioned myself like, am I good enough? Like, what am I doing wrong here? You know, where have I gone wrong? Um, and it, it made me doubt myself and that was where the issue for me that was where it was because I didn't have anybody to turn to and go you know well, what's next or what do we do or you know how do we go about this you know there is there was nothing so there was know. no support at all there was no after support no yeah no there was no support after and what impact did that have on your mental health like I said, I, I hit rock bottom. Um, even you know, I'm a very confident person, I'm very outgoing. You know, I'm very out there, um, and I I got to a point where I didn't even want to go outside. You know, I just wanted to be on my own, away from everybody, and I was just you know so depressed, so down, um, not motivated to do anything. Um, just a total change of person. So it was just not me, you know, um, and then yeah, just hit rock bottom, and then to try and get myself better. But it was the hardest thing to do because, you know, at that moment in time, you don't want to um, like call your friend or you know just call up anybody and, and start talking to them because it's such a hard thing to talk to, you know. And it's the hardest part is kind of um, recognizing it yourself, you know, that that you you have got an, like a bit of a problem and that you do need some help. You know, it's okay not to be okay, and that's the message I want to get out there is you know it's okay not to be okay. And you can get help, you know, there is help. And, you know, that's just what I'm pushing for now, that there will be more help out there um, and available, you know, to, to help people. So what systems would you like to see put in place for people that are on reality shows yep. for when they when they leave and when they finish? Yeah, so, um, I, I mean, what I believe, you know, because once you've come off the show, you know, your life does change. You know, it is, it is totally different. 
Um, and I believe if if you did get a phone call, say whether that be six months or a year, you know, I, I don't know the time frames, you know, exactly. But if you got a phone call um, from somebody that you know that specialises in, in psychology and things like that. You know, they could pick up if there's any issues. Even if it would be a 15-minute phone call with each cast member, you know, how are you? What have you been up to? What, you know, what's going on? You know, and, and that gives, you know, from my point of view, that would have given me an opening to kind of speak to them and say, actually, do you know what? I'm not feeling too good at the minute, you know, because the hardest part is to do that first little step, that reach out for help is the hardest. And I believe that, you know, if you did get a phone call, you know, a following up phone call, like, how are you doing? It's an open line for then you to like go. Actually, you know, I'm, I'm not okay. You know, and then from there, you know, everybody's different. Everybody needs different help and things like that. So that would be, you know, to do with them. But that's why I feel that something like that, from an aftercare point of view, that would really help people. You know, and would that have made a difference for you? 100%. Yeah. If, if I had somebody that contacted me. Um, and then you know started having a conversation and things like that that knew about that subject uh, yeah for sure